What's up guys, Dave here from CNC 3D. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at how to get started with Easel from the very beginning. Now let's assume that you've just connected up one of our UCarve CNC's or Sharp CNC's or Nighthawk CNC's and you wanna get productive with Easel. The first thing that we've already done before this is we've gone to easel.inventables.com and we've registered an account and we've gone into the main easel project window and we've created a new project. Now at this point in time, we just need to go through and we need to actually set up our machine and set up the driver for easel to work. So the first thing we'll do in the main easel menu at the top is we'll go to help and then go down to the downloads option and you'll notice that you can download the easel driver here. So we'll just click on version here and we'll go to save file. And then if you can run it through your browser, we'll just run it through here. And so we'll just click on install. Okay, so we'll just hit finish on this wizard to complete the installation and we can close out of this separate tab that it's created here. Now we're back on our main easel window. You'll notice that our carve button just went from blue to green. That's because it's already automatically detected our machine that we had plugged in. So if we click on carve now, you'll notice the first thing that comes up is it'll say that you're missing machine settings. So what we'll do is we'll click up, click on set up your machine. Okay, now choose these options. Depending on which machine of ours you have, it doesn't really make any difference. So we're just gonna choose other GRBL. And for the model, we're gonna choose other. For the motion control, we're gonna choose Arduino. For the rail size, we'll choose 500 by 500. For lead screw, we'll choose Acme Threaded Rod. For spindle, we'll choose Other. And the maximum RPM, we'll leave that at 12,000. And then we'll just go Confirm Settings. Now, if it does ask you to choose which COM port you are currently connected to, the easiest way to do this on Windows 10 is if you go down the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, and right click on your start button, you can bring up this menu. And what we're looking for in here is to click on the device manager. So we'll click on that now. And what we're looking for in here is the actual ports. So all of these are in alphabetical order. So if we expand this here on ports, you can see that we have a USB serial CH340 on COM3. So we know that COM3 is the COM port for our machine. So we can just close out of the device manager now and we're just gonna put a three in this box. And then now you'll notice it wants to test all of your wiring and switches. The good news is we've already pre-configured all of our machines for you. So there's no need to proceed with this at all. So we'll just click on continue and we'll choose under the spindle settings, the spindle control preference, we'll choose manual and then Always choose no disable homing. Okay, and then when you're asked about having a Z probe, just choose no. And then we can just hit the finish button. And now you'll see it'll take you through to the main easel window. So what we'll do is we'll just go back into the untitled project that we had open. And then when we go up here, you'll notice that the carve button is now green. If we click on carve, it'll take you through to the main easel job setup wizard. So at this stage, we've gone through and we've configured easel to work with our machine without overriding any of the settings that we already have saved in there. So if you'd like, you can just go through and close out of this window and set up your job as you would like to normally. And once you're ready to carve the job, just go back up to carve here and then make sure that you enter in all of the details. For more information on how to use Easel, please have a look at some of our other videos and hopefully this should help everyone get started really easily. Thank you for your time guys, have a great day.